Risky Behavior. Hello, how are y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. This here episode is going to be a part of a series I'm going to call Risky Thoughts. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to present a question and then I'm going to present my idea behind the question that I asked. And after you hear it, I would like for you to go to the comment section and tell me your thoughts. Tell me your answer. And I know YouTube is a public place and everyone's not comfortable sharing their thoughts on the Internet. And that's perfectly OK. If you just want to look at the video and think to yourself or share the video with a friend or a family member, you can discuss it in private with someone you trust. Now, the title of today's episode is called Which Race and Gender Are You Choosing? Which race and gender are you choosing? I want you to imagine that you could start all over. You get a do over at life. Now, none of us were given the ability to choose our race, our gender, our height or hair texture. Or our attractiveness to the people that view us. But what would you do if you could choose all those things? What if you could go back to a blank physical canvas and had the opportunity to paint yourself however you wanted to paint yourself? Would you paint yourself as you already are? Or would you change some things? Or would you change everything? Now, I know some people cringe at questions like this. Trust me. And most of you will say, I love myself and I wouldn't change a thing. But I do wonder, will some of you be honest and say, mm, yeah, I might change a few things. The challenge with this thought process is not choosing what you would like or love to have. The challenge is a decision that is not influenced by hatred or cultural biases or societal norms. Embarking on this thought exercise, one must navigate the intricate tapestry of societal structures, cultural narratives and historical contexts that shape the experiences of different races and genders. To choose a new one must weigh the privileges, challenges, and perspectives associated with each identity. For some, the allure may lie in selecting an identity that offers greater societal advantages or aligns with their personal aspirations. Others might be driven by a desire to understand and confront the struggles faced by a particular group or to experience a rich cultural heritage that they admire. Considering every race and gender, one must reflect on how systemic biases, discrimination, and opportunities vary across the globe and how these factors influence one's life journey. The choice would be deeply personal, reflecting one's values, the lessons they hope to learn, and the impact they wish to have in the world. Ultimately, this exercise underscores the complex nature of identity and the profound way it molds our interactions, opportunities, and understanding of ourselves within the human mosaic. Now, I don't expect many people to respond to this thread, but I do hope that you will sit with yourself and think honestly. I appreciate you. Risky, out. Risky behavior.